like a K. Uh, <laughs> that was silly. Uh, okay, so let's just model a very quick K. I'm gonna drop it to the floor. C for conversion, I'm gonna select the top face. Thank you very much, that's all I needed to know. KL for like, hold on, let me modify this a little bit. Let me make it a little bit more dynamic or something. At the end of the day, you know, it's like, the, the, the aim of this exercise is to uh, come up with something that, you know, it doesn't require too much effort and it allows you to exercise your creativity in a rather quick way. So KL to create a couple of loop cuts. There we go. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab this face, pull it out. I'm gonna grab this face also, pull it out. So we got something that resemble a K, right? Now, this plugin that I bought, it's, it's actually pretty amazing. What it does, it wraps a spline around your geometry and it allows you for a certain degree of control of how these splines wraps. Uh, now, uh, bear in mind that I've started to use this plugin like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> so the, I'm not sure if there is more to it, but I wanna show it to you because I think it's, uh, it's really cool, especially if it comes to doing things like uh, what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna go into my plugin uh, tray, click on spl uh, spline wrapper. Now, basically this is a, uh, a spline generator and what it needs, it needs a, an object to wrap around. Now I'm gonna hide the object for you to have a, an idea of what happens when you do this. And as you can see, you see the, the wrapping in this, uh, at this moment, it doesn't really happen the way we would expect it. Because of course, you know, how do you define the, uh, the wrapping direction of a, um, of a spline if the object is so irregular, right? But then looking into the plugin, what I uh, noticed was this little slot that says spline backbone. So I, I got to think, okay, probably this, is, this gives me the chance to kind of guide my spline uh, in relationship to the geometry itself. So I tried that, I made a quick sketch going this way. And I took the sketch and dropped it into the spline backbone slot of um, uh, Cinema 4D. And basically this is what I got out of it. So I'm just gonna hide my cube for now and I'm gonna drop a circle, scale it down and drop this into a sweep together with a, sorry, with a spline wrapper. Now the spline wrapper has this uh, icon which is a little bit different from the other spline icons, but it behaves like a spline. So, you know, if I put this inside the sweep, I start to get these sweeps. And of course, you know, it, it, you have to understand it cannot be really that perfect, but I'm guessing that if I start playing a little bit with the, with the backbone spline itself, that I can kind of start to control this geometry. So I'm just gonna delete a couple of points that might not be super useful. There we go. And you can see, I start to get a little bit more control over this, uh, this spline. And it's okay if it's, you know, so irregular. Sometimes you kind of want to have something that it's very regular and a little bit more artistic, so to say. So now what I'm going to do, I have this uh, sweep. I'm gonna duplicate it and I'm going to start playing with the spline wrapper uh, settings. So like I could change the spline number, put two, and you start to see that this becomes a little bit more dense. Um, I could start playing around with the number of coils, maybe make more, maybe make less. I'm gonna make maybe like say, okay, so I see if I put more coils, I get more definition, this is interesting. Look at this. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this one more time. And I'm, I'm trying now to get something a little bit more different. Let's say maybe scale it because I also have the, the, uh, 
possibility to like scale down the geometry there we go so that the geometry itself doesn't intersect and this is very interesting because it allows you for like a lot of creative solutions look at this so now basically I have a K which is totally random but it's fine you know I I really like this shape let me go and control some of these points to see if I can make sense of all of this there we go maybe I'll pull, I'll pull this down maybe I push this a little bit further here very cool and one thing that I could do let me try if this works because probably what I could do I could go and change the the points of each single uh, sweep so now I have the sweep selected sorry this sweep selected come on select it there we go so let me see if I can actually go and change the points of the spline no I think I have to convert it okay let me see if that happens see yes now I can convert the, the spline itself, maybe, let me isolate this. Uh -huh. Okay, so I cannot see it, why is that? Okay, obviously I need to experiment a little bit more with this plugin, but I really like the fact that, you know, I started to work with this like 10 minutes ago, and I'm already allowed this amount of like uh, creative freedom. Now let me go and change my render engine to octane it takes a couple of seconds for me to make the switch maybe I'm gonna change the ratio of my viewport and I'm gonna render this in a uh, in a second just to have a look and see how this comes out there we go I'm just gonna start the live viewer of octane Do, 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 do. I mean, this is very interesting to me. Look at this. You know, this is super sp quick speed art. I mean, we are less than nine minutes in, and uh, I was able to make something super duper cool with just a few clicks. Anyway, I'm gonna try to upload this file online for you guys to, to play with. Uh, obviously, you might have to purchase the spline wrapper. I got the spline wrapper from C4D Zone. It's only a few euros. It's like, yeah, it's 12 euros. So, you know, it's a, it's a good investment for you to, to go and play uh, around. I'm gonna put this link into the description of the, of the video. And that's it. Uh, I just wanted to make this very quick video to show you how I was going to do the K. I'm gonna render it, post-produce it a little bit and put it online on my Facebook page and then you'll be able to download the file. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you uh, hopefully tomorrow. I'm not sure. We'll see. <laughs> Good night.